This short video shows a quick way to get Mesh Mixer up and running so that you can start working on waxing up some teeth. Mesh Mixer has this capability here where you can come in and select different kinds of objects that you can put on there. Well, we've got it figured out so you could do the same thing with teeth. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just close out of Mesh Mixer. Okay, uh, Right here, this is what you're going to be able to download from Christian and that's a zipped folder that has two different folders in it one for the Pontic library and then one for the tooth library you're gonna go to your computer and this is gonna be the same on an Apple or a PC but you're gonna find the documents folder inside the documents there's a folder called mesh mixer when you go to here then you go libraries parts default and if you look right here, that's where all those files are. You're just going to take those two folders and you're going to drag them right into there. After that, you can open up Mesh Mixer again. And then I've got a, uh, a model that we'll import. And that way we can show you how this works. So once the model's in there, you kind of see this patient's missing a couple teeth. We can now come into here, and here's both of those libraries. These are the Pontics, okay, all the way down to a full set. You can kind of see the rounded ovate Pontic on these. Uh, or you've got the teeth here, which don't have that ovate uh, portion to them. So you come down to where it says tooth... 28 and once you've got this tooth you obviously are going to need to make it a little bit larger bring it over to the right area and you can see how quickly you can set teeth once the tooth is where you need it to be you can do whatever you want with it whether it's uh, fabricating a surgical guide or printing off a 3D model to use uh, for an interim. But that's how simple uh, it can be. Thank you very much.